Wishes World here. It is uh, April 23rd, 2020, and I'm going to come at you with a video. All right, guys, I didn't do a video um, yesterday because I got a lot of questions, a lot of concern about me. You know, most of you guys already know I lost a good friend on Sunday. Um, so I've been kind of distracted, plus my phone was broke. Sat down on my computer, and I just couldn't, guys, I couldn't just do it, you know. I just had to take, it, take a day off. But um, I got you guys over here to human. And, by the way, thanks for all those uplifting uh, emails and comments, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, if you look here, we, we got another spike starting to happen. Okay? As we speak right now. Um, so, whatever that means, we're going to watch that and see how that pans out. What I will say that it does look as if these higher frequencies um, in four increment levels. It's like they're bumping up four levels at a time. Four hertz at a time. They seem to be sticking around now. Um, they're not going completely away. So that's leaning to the fact that, you know, the overall frequency of the Earth is actually rising. Um, so a lot of theories on what's going on with that and what that actually means. I've talked about that at length. Um, I'll talk about it again. But, you know, 7.83 <clears throat> is what we would consider normal. Anything above or below that would be a spike and it's directly related to mental health and all that other kind of stuff. Crime rate. I'm going to do a video, a few videos, like a playlist for this, because I really want to give a place where people can understand what this actually is and what it can do to you. Ringing in your ears, blood pressure, anxiety, insomnia, all that stuff can be caused by this. They pump it into the space station so the astronauts don't go crazy. That's just the truth. Um, plus, people that work underground. They used to call it space sickness, but they figured out it was frequency. There's a lot of stuff of frequency, so I'll just leave that alone. But, um, again, guys, you know, there it is. Um, there's really not a whole lot more to talk about that because that two-day event has come and gone. And we're going to watch this spike here and see what happens with that. But I'm going to move on because Seed's updated his information, guys. So we're going to take a, a, a quick glance at that. Okay, guys, so all that information got dumped back in for like the past couple weeks. And we're able to see it now. Um, so... Let me say this, you know, we're always asked why these things go down, because this is a tool that we usually stays updated every day. And what happens, guys, is a lot of times these happen at colleges. They take the data from the satellites, and why we even have access to that is because our tax dollars actually paid for the satellites. So that was one of the, you know, the premises behind all that. Um, but, you know, and again, there's a lot of theories on what actually happens there. I'm not going to get into all that and actually what I think with that, but... I think it's a little bit of both, just so you guys know. Um, but, you know, with this lockdown and everything everywhere, it makes perfect sense that it would take a minute for all this stuff to, you know, come back in because somebody might not even have been able to be there to put this data in or however this works. I don't know the specifics. But I would, I would tend to lean that the global situation is affecting this also. So it's affecting every other aspect of our life. Why not this, right? Um, anyway, so we will move on from that, but there, there's a 13th, but I want to show you guys here is right there. Watch right there where I just put that arrow. Um, you're going to see a CME pop off of there. It's just, it doesn't look large, but watch how fast it moves. Okay. That's way faster. Not almost a way. It is faster than a normal one. Okay. You can tell that by looking at the other energy around it. You can see that it's moving way faster than that. So, you know. In our perspective, okay, we're here. So looking at this this uh, capture here, it says if we walked outside and looked at the sun. Now, given the fact that this thing is more of a, looks like a straight line, almost like a whip, bring yourself to this. This is a two-dimensional model trying to show you something three-dimensional. So if you just simply change your perspective, if you were to not look from right here, go over here and look at it, what you're going to see Instead of something that looks like that, you're going to see something that looks like this. Okay? So if you just take that and you spin it 90 degrees, this big teardrop I just drew there becomes this shape right over here. So perspective has everything to do with it. So with that being said, what I would say to this is that, again, Earth is here. So if that actually did take that shape and was traveling this way, we could have taken a, a glancing blow from that, but we didn't. So I'm just showing you that. 
Now, again, guys, I'm going to report on even the small stuff. I'm not going to go into the big spiel why. I've already said it a hundred times. But I'm not going to stop reporting that stuff because I think the second we think we know everything is the second we stop learning. So we need to look at stuff. Now, some of the stuff, you know, isn't breaking news, isn't apocalyptic or nothing, but it does help us learn. So that's why I do it. Um, I've been called idiot for doing that kind of stuff. I mean, but, you know, let me tell you this too, guys. People think when I don't say stuff that it's actually, some people think it's kind of like a, a, a sign of weakness. Let me tell you something. It's hard to keep your mouth shut. Believe me, I have a lot of ammo that I can just start unloading on whoever attacks me. But I choose not to. Now, other people are not wired that way, and that's fine, honestly. Because sometimes people that are attacking others need to have that attack right back up in their face. I'm just not that person. I'm not, I'm not wired like that. But please don't think that that's a weakness, because it's not. Because what those guys are accomplishing through their words and, and, and you know defending others along with themselves, I can do the same by helping in the other direction by... You know, I guess I'll just say it this way. Sometimes you can you can catch more <laughs> flies with honey than you can with crap. Okay? That's what I'm trying to say. And if somebody's yelling at you, you just, you, you just shut down right away. Anyway, so that's on the 13th. Now, the 14th, if you look at the end of the day there, we're actually missing like nine hours there, by the way. Um, on the fifth, end of the day on the 14th, end of the 15th is when we had that double CME. And this is really what I want to show you. Okay? I mean, there were people out there saying we didn't even need to talk about this. I, I just couldn't understand that. Because, you know, they're saying it was small or whatever. That is not small. Okay? We didn't have this to look at because the data wasn't in. Now, you can see how a new person, if the, all they got to look at is this red version. I mean, does that look too impressive? Not really, right? But if we look at this one, a new person is going to know for sure that something happened right there. Now, the fact that it happened on opposite ends at the exact same time, that right there deserves a conversation. And that's why we're doing this. That's why I'm having this conversation. Because we did take a hit from that. Okay? Here's us. This one over here, that blue, we actually took a, a glancing blow on that side. That's just what happened. It showed up on our magnetosphere when we got hit. So, there you have it. I mean, that that's that double CME. Now, let me tell you this, too. Scott, when Scott finds out that this, this data was dumped in, um, I, I tried to, uh, I, I messaged him, but I think he was in bed a little while ago. Um, so, when he wakes up and he sees that this stuff is in there now, I guarantee you that if anything's in there, he'll find it. <laughs> he is, I mean, he's on top of that. I mean, yeah. So, if there's something in there for us to see, he'll find it. You know, he's got some pretty decent techniques and stuff. Really good techniques, matter of fact. Of detecting and able to be able to see certain things. So, but yeah. So, we're going to, um, and also happens on the 15th. The next day, check this out. Bam. On the left side, CME. Okay. So, I, I guess we're not supposed to talk about that because it didn't come our direction and it was small. Nobody else talked about that one, guys, but me and Scott. I, I just don't understand that. Not to mention that there is energy coming off the other side, too, at the exact same time. Not that it was a full-blown CME, but it was definitely... And I've made that observation before. A lot of times we get a CME exactly on the other side of that CME. You see a smaller one on the other side of the sun within 12, 12, 14 hours, usually. Now, you know, I, I don't know, I don't have a specific statistic on that, but it is what I, I have observed over the past, you know, two or three years. So, yeah. So we are going to move on here real quick. Okay, guys, this is an article over at spaceweather.com. Um, it's an exploding meteor. Um, and I actually caught it from the, the, the Lyrid uh, meteor shower that we're experiencing. It was on, the height of it was on the 22nd. So, yeah, I mean, there was like, I think they said, was it 20 an hour? Which is pretty decent, guys. 
you'd have had a decent chance if he had a good, uh, good clear night, go outside and see a, a few shooting stars. But as, as you look here, you can see that little smoke right there. <clears throat> that meteor broke up. You know, you see in the flash and then, bam, right? So, that most definitely was something that, yeah. I mean, it, good catch whoever caught that because that was definitely uh, pretty cool. That just shows that, hey, you know, that what they said with the the Lyrid uh, meteor shower is actually coming to fruition right here. So, I just wanted to show you that too. Um, they talk about here on solar minimum conditions also. Um, usually when those solar minimum conditions are in effect because we don't have uh, sunspots that are earth facing and um, that usually leads to a uh, like a cosmic ray either warning or watch type of situation because our geomagnetic activity level tends to drop um, when that when we don't have sunspots so yeah so we'll, we'll just leave that at that now um, I'll leave a link to this um, they do a good job over here guys Go check them out, spaceweather.com. All right, guys, we're going to take a look at real quick look at the earthquakes. Um, you know, these are always, this is what's going on right now globally. Okay, I'm just going to kind of scroll through it. You'll see it. Uh, most of this stuff um, isn't so far out of the ordinary. Now, we are seeing a, uh, a swarm of them around Puerto Rico. Um... I noticed on the geoelectric map that it looked as though we were having like a um, some sort of a anomaly happening showing this this part of the country lighting up okay um, with that being said that energy comes in more so along the poles okay not typically at the closer to the equator so whatever that means it says this you know, that's more of a specific, like, blast in that area of whatever. Um, and it could have had something to do with this uptick. Don't know, but that is an observation. So, um, I did want to show that to you guys. Now, again, you can scroll down through here and pick out what you want to look into. And what we're... That one's red. I wonder why. Um, obviously, it was in that area that we watch all the time anyway. Because we've been told since I was a kid that eventually that's going to crack off and... California's going to be an island. <laughs> I don't know. That's just what that, I've heard that since I was a kid. But um, this, the Cascadia subduction zone is very close to that. Now, our whole West Coast would be redefined if and when that thing does finally go. Okay? So, we got to keep, keep that in mind when we're talking about this. So, um, anyway, yeah. So, guys, I think I am going to end it there. Um, I'll try to come back with some more videos later on, but... I just want to give you a little uh, a taste of what that data was, that double CME, okay? That one was definitely was something that, I, you know, I really wanted to show you guys. Um, so, thanks again, guys, for the positive uh, messages, guys. I really needed it. You know, I lost my friend and all that. Uh, he was a lot of people's friend, just so you know. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway. Um, thank you, guys. That does help, you know, keep me lifted up, so... God bless. Yeshua saves, and uh, you can drink this Kool-Aid.